matrix of the mitochondria of all our cells is a cycle of reactions that one hand scrubs a Nobel Prize. The cycle takes the energy and food and makes it into other forms your cells can use. Krebs cycle makes electron carrier NADH, which later brings electrons to the electron transport chain. And Krebs makes FADH do its function is the same. Krebs also makes some ATP, another claim to fame with talking Krebs. It's a citric acid cycle, Krebs. Try carboxylic acid cycle, Krebs. Each cycle makes one ATP, three NADH, one FADH2. Right before the cycle's a transitional part, links Krebs to glycolysis, so Krebs can start. Enzymes break a CO2 off a of pyruvate, yields an NADH and acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA carries carbons too, with all the energy that derives from food. It's a highly reduced molecule with energized electrons that fuels up the Krebs cycle as it cycles on. Now at the start of Krebs, this acetyl-CoA has the two carbons it carries in, ripped away. Enzymes hook these on oxaloacetate with carbons for, makes six carbon citric acid, who could ask for more? Notice three carboxyl groups on the citric acid, why the cycle's also named for tricarboxylic acid or TCA cycle if it's acronyms that you prefer. Krebs in honor of its discoverer. Krebs, it's a citric acid cycle. Krebs, tricarboxylic acid cycle. Krebs, each cycle makes one ATP, three NADH, one FADH2. Enzymes work on citric acid and remove a CO2, and other enzymes modify and oxidize it too. The five carbon result is alpha ketoglutarate. Krebs cycle, it's so great. Every oxidation can power the reduction of NAD+, plus, which gains electron carrying function, become an NADH, that energy sensation, which later on in respiration powers ATP creation. Another oxidation follows another CO2 removed, leaving us with a four carbon molecule. Another NADH results from this oxidation. The Scripps does its energy transformations. This four carbon molecule, succinyl CoA, still has lots of energy enzymes can take away. A series of reactions yield one. ATP, the cell's main energy currency, leaving just enough energy for enzymes to reduce NFADH to FADH2, and one last NAD plus will also get reduced as the final electron carrier NADH gets produced. We've harvested what energy came in at Krebs to start, now we have oxaloacetate at this final part. Oxaloacetate is the commencement and finale, ready to mute acetyl-CoA and here at the final tally. Krebs goes round and round, such an ancient cycle, spinning like like the wheels of my bicycle. Krebs like the axle of aerobic respiration. I breathe out of CO2 with every exhalation. We've walked through the cycle, so now let's review. Input is acetyl-CoA with carbons too. The carbons get removed, releasing CO2. Exhaling sends the CO2 out of you. The cycle's functions, energy, transformation, 3 NADH, one fadh 2 creation, and also synthesis of 1-ATP, which cells directly utilize for energy. For every glucose cells absorbed, the cycle runs two times. As long as cells get fuel, Krebs is running just fine. It precedes electron transport chain, it follows glycolysis, it's spinning round and round in the mitochondrial matrix, Krebs. It's a citric acid cycle, Krebs. Tricarboxylic acid cycle, Krebs. Each cycle makes one ATP, three NADH, one FADH2, Krebs. It's a citric acid cycle, Krebs. Tricarboxylic acid cycle, Krebs. Each cycle makes one ATP, three NADH, one FADH2.